I'm glad that they chose us. Command is a mission, trying to fight to the finish just to see if I'm finished. Wow. All I know is. Wow. All I know is. Wow. Everybody, it's Shanika with Joe Tudo here with Royal Rain Records um, artist Jerz. Mob. Yes, it's so so. Um, first, just um, just introduce people, introduce yourself to the people. Okay. What's going on, world? My name is Jerz. I'm from Jersey, World Rain Records, Prime Family, Mob, High Society, all that good shit. Um, shout out, what is it, Broke Too Dope? Shout out, Broke Too Dope, my girl Shanika. So, 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 um, first, I just want to say thank you for just talking with me. Thank you, this is dope. Um, you just performed with her at the Industry Mister. Shout out to Swan Beck and Miss Tate Monopoly. So, how, how was your performance? How you feeling right now? The performance was amazing, you know, we always come with great energy, try to interact with the crowd and just give them everything we have, you know, I mean, you were just in there, you tell me how the performance was, yeah, what do you think? It was dope, it was dope, it was definitely <laughs> hype, I was hype. So, like, what gets you, what gets you ready to go on stage? Um, I don't know, I guess just my love for music, like, being on stage is kind of like being at home, so. I really get antsy, like, I don't know if you see me, I was pacing, like, I was like, yo, like, fuck, I'm tired of waiting to perform, like, shit, we in here just drinking, smoking, but I really just, like, you know, I like looking into people's eyes when they see us perform and them being involved with the music and shit, turning up when we turning up and just rocking with the same vibes we have, so as long as the crowd is with me, and even if it's five people, they still gonna be on my level, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so, um, from Jersey, like, what's the difference between Jersey and Atlanta musically? Um, really right now the difference I can't really say is a lot because Atlanta's got the music game a lot. Anything you hear in Atlanta is getting played in Jersey, Cali, like I do a lot of traveling and you're gonna hear the same shit. But music overall is it's really on the same floor right now. You still gonna have people who have their same lane and their same genre, but for the main part, if you're talking about music, music, people in the clubs and on the radio are gonna play the same shit. Everybody else is gonna have their own feel. A lot of people in Jersey like different shit, but they fuck with the South all, all over. So like, yeah, Atlanta is definitely just the uh, indie, everything indie right now. So everyone's, they're really pushing towards the indie. Um, what, what separates you from everybody else? Um, I mean, I guess what separates me from everybody else is just how I move and how I interact with everyone. You know, everybody has like clips, but I show love to everybody, and that's the campaign, eat and stay true. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? And even if you don't fuck with me, fuck you, I still fuck with you, I show that much love, you know what I mean? But at the same time, the only thing that's gonna separate me is my actions. I don't need to talk about it because you don't see it. Yeah, for sure, so like, you said you stay true, eat and stay true? Yeah, that's coming, so tell us what, to, what we're going to expect on that. <coughs> oh my goodness, you can really expect any of the top underground or really on the radio artists in the streets right now, you're going to see them on Eden State True. I got a lot of features, but that's because, like I said, it's part of my campaign. If I fuck with you, you're going to be on my tape. It's really, may or may not be two parts, because I got a lot of shit I just been holding, but I'm about to put a tape out before I drop that. So, shout out High Society, my brother Zay Cash. Um, but yeah, Eden State True, there's a lot to expect. I got to join with Milo Smith, WAP. I got stuff with uh, Zay Cash, Murderham. Uh, Scotty ATL, J from Two Nine, Milo Smith. I already said her. Um, I got I got show a lot of people. And if you haven't fucked with me yet, we work on that. Definitely. So, so um, what artists? You know, indie is really big right now. But what artists major that you like to work with? Major artists. What well, major artists would I like to work with? Um, I guess for me, my major artists I would like to work with people like Jada Kiss. Um, I really fuck with Kendrick, Meek Mill. They're like new, you know, breath of fresh air in the game right now. J. Cole, I fuck with J. Cole real hard. Um, I like Chance the Rapper. It's a lot of people I like right now, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dope people in different lanes. I listen to a lot of different music. If you spit in life and I can listen to your music and hear the emotion and know that what you're like reciting is not fabrication and you really live it, I'm gonna feel it. So I fuck with you. That's the music I do. I ain't lying, not one word in none of my bars, so. That's the type of music I like to hear. But as far as industry artists, people I want to fuck with, real listen to the game. Right? Anybody who's super out my phone. But, you know. Yeah, like, there's been a lot of music coming out this year. Um, who do you think had the best album this year? Who had the best album? Ooh. Who had the best album? Damn, that's a tough one. Which one are you still listening to? 
Which one am I still listening to? Like album, album, all right, in the stores. The one I'm still listening to right now is Pussy Tea. Pussy Tea's going in right now. And if you ask me the best hook of the year, the best hook of the year I have to give it to that nigga Kevin Gates. That, um, that, uh, Trust Me, Pussy Tea song, that's one of the hardest tracks. Like, one of the hardest tracks out right now. And it's old. It's like super old. So, like, were you, um, were you an A3 I was. How was that? How was the whole experience? <laughs> it was real good. It was a good experience. I didn't perform, but everyone that I knew performed. So I was out every day showing love. Um, like ND, Scotty ATL, like the whole Five Points had their own show. Sean Beck had a set up. She had the panel. A3C had a show up to that. Um, who else? There was a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there. I mean, anybody on in the industry seen Messiah, Sorry Kid, Trans Lee, L's, Clay James, like everybody was out there. The A3C. Okay. You have a lot of performances coming up. Like, tell us about I it. I do. Um, well, I just performed at Sledge Lounge. Shout out Shadow and uh, Mike B. Those are the owners. Those are my people. Um, shout out Diana Schwanbeck for putting it on. Once again, shout out Shanika and Broke 2 Dope. This is my fam. Um, my next performances, I have a performance on Friday at, um, I want to say Vine City. It's called The Finale. It's a uh, mixtape that we put on. Schwanbeck and um, Jimmy, uh, Heat Promotions, Whispers, all that shit. Um, I'm going to be performing with... Uh, my brother, Money Making Neat, Kid Performance, I already kid, and D, they perform it too. A lot of people that fuck before me, Licks, you know, Licks performing, and I used to, you know, this nigga, we both used to live in Cali together, like, a lot of people I do music with, I know a lot of different channels of life, so it's crazy, but, um, Friday's one of my next performances on the 29th, and then, um, the 21st of December at Spore Milk, make sure y'all come out, we turn up, for sure. Um, you work with a lot of, any artists, a lot of dope artists, um, can you tell us, like, the really cool, interesting story behind some of this? Uh, a really interesting story. Okay, I, get, I know a really interesting story. Uh, I got a lot of really interesting stories, uh, but um, one that comes to mind is, all right, so one day, oh, shout out Omen Agency and Back Jazz Studios. Uh, yeah, wait, hold on, I have a story. Let me see if I'm going to All right, so I'm going to tell you a family story. Shout out uh, my brother once again, Zay Cash. Um, me and Zay Cash, we met each other a long time ago at Five Point Studio. Uh, Professor, at Professor House. Shout out Professor. That's my brother too. Um, so I'm in there, with Professor. We chilling, listening to beats. I had just recorded something. We bothered, and um, I had some Zay Cash in mind. So I was like, yo, he was like, um, last night talked to me, told me he wanted to track. La la. So before he was really fucking with each other hard, and so. I hadn't seen him in months, and so out of nowhere he pops up in the studio like, yeah, I just got out. And I'm like, what? I nigga, you been locked up this whole time? He's like, yeah, man, Henry County. I'm like, fuck, I just moved out of Henry County. I know all about Henry County, so you ain't gotta say shit about it. So me and him, he get out, I'm chilling, we get, um, <laughs> I order some Fellini's pizza, we get a couple bottles of Hennessy, me, him, bro, Walt Live, uh, my brother Ruler, who was on the yo, he uh, recorded one of his, uh, one of his singles of uh, Cash 3. And um, after that, we was going hard. We was uh, chilling every day, recording, and it came out of high society group. Just our way of life. We, we moved the same and just uh, put a whole movement together based off of that. <laughs> so you, um, I see you guys doing videos with Volume Round. Uh, Check out the vlogs. Uh, um, so how does that help you connect with your friends? Oh man, it's tremendous because there's nothing better than having a visual. You right now, you're doing an interview, you could be using a tape recorder, but you have somebody visually catching what's going on as well as what we're saying. So I need him for everything. You can always put a voice to it, but it's better. People do better visually. It's just adding another sense to them being able to come in on your life. Like I want people to walk with me. Even if you're not here, you're still with me. So that's why I have L.Y. Doug. He showed me this is my ghost. You might not see him, but that's because he's a ghost. And if you see him pop out, it's a problem. I hope you don't see him. Well, I think that's dope because you can kind of see your progression and see your growth. Um, so talk about that. Like, from your first take, how do you think you can have I've grown a lot as an artist from my first take. Like, I started, when I started out rapping, I was like battle rapper. So I come from, like, being able to rap for 10 minutes straight and just doing six minute seven minute tracks and my brother like nah nigga chill out you gotta like you gotta like make songs and shit like you can't just rap on beats all the time no breaths just giving them all bars is too much like the game's changing and i'm like fuck these niggas i'm gonna do what i want to do this is this is how i rock and on my first tape that's exactly what i did like i still 
I didn't want to just all the way be like, fuck them. So I still had to show creativity and put songs together. The majority of my first tape, Reign of the Royals, it's not even on Live Mixtapes, it's on that piff. Shout out that piff. They show love to everybody. Um, shout out Live Mixtapes too, though. But um, I put it on there uh, going on two years ago. And um, like I said, I was just doing a lot of songs that were straight through, no hooks. And now I have um, a lot of structure to my tracks and a lot of just different you know variations that show my style in my music and my tracks but the growth is crazy you can go from i put four tapes out last year in 2012 and here it is 2003 2013 and i haven't put out a tape yet i just been focusing on shows and that's that's part of my growth as, a, as an artist i was focused on getting out music and letting people know the type of artist that i was and what i had to say and then after what i had to say I let them see me visually for a year. So I'm doing shows, turning up every week, going out, showing love, getting features, getting sessions, all type of shit. And, um, but it's not like I haven't been before and I got stockpiled CDs. So you getting flooded in 2014, you know, it's a take over. Reign of the Royals, for real, for a high society program of mine. Okay, tell, tell us a little bit more about the high society take over. High society, oh my goodness, it's crazy. High society is just a way of life. It's how we live. Uh, the tape, me and Zay Cash, all the way through, we got some, uh, some super dope features, Decatur Ike, um, Murderham Shawty, got uh, my brother Cool as Matt, um, who else we got on there? Jace from 29, we got uh, Clay James Messiah, we got uh, a lot of people who still haven't even hopped on it yet, we're not even done. We want to put together like just the best of the best tracks, so it's not really like that's why we haven't released a date we just released some tracks and you know shout out a lot of producers too for real for real. producers are a part of high society be nice twan beats right now i'm fucking with him real real heavy um hey dr god who else been flooding us with beats man my nigga jig shout out uh jiggy once again home agency proto mac um ohini jones it's a lot of people man producers artists everybody you know what i'm saying if you fuck with us you're a part of high society so that's, that's what high society is. You're gonna get a lot of videos, you're gonna get a lot of tracks from artists that you like, that you might not even know when we fuck with, but we fuck with everybody, so. That's what's up, that's what's up. So I just wanna say thank you again for talking with us. Thank you, Shamika, dope, 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 so just tell us one more time, you know, where they could check you out, all your links and everything. Um, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Vine, all that good shit, um, at Jerz, J-E-R-Z, underscore, R-R-R. Um, my YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash TV. You can check me out on Facebook, facebook.com uh, backslash Prime Family Jers. Um, what else? We got anything. Shout out my brother, Ruler. You can check him out, Ruler. Pi Ruler, uh, P I R U L A underscore R R R L Y Dub TV. Same thing, um, Zay Cash. Shout out Shanika, Broke Too Dope. We in the building, man, for real. If y'all ain't showing love, you need to fucking kill yourself, for real, man. <laughs> We taking it back. The world is changing, man. But we taking it back to love. We showing love. Yes, that's what's up. So peace be out. Mob.